some of the techniques in this movie, some of the many techniques, obviously there's all sorts of stuff to get into here. This is definitely a rewatchable film. But the use of Dutch angle, a contained time and space in terms of, for the most part, this whole thing, for the most part, taking place in the Nakatomi Tower on one night. The motif of feet, shoes, and glass. As far as wardrobe, the tank top that John McClane wears. And a regular hero. This is one of the most exciting things about the film. This is what changed action movies in part moving forward regarding the leading hero, the leading character. Many actors turn this movie down. Many action heroes of the day turn this movie down. They didn't get it. The main character is not just giant biceps and running directly at the bad guy and killing, crushing everybody. This is a little bit more down to earth, a little bit more realist. John McClane is a little bit more every man. The kind of guy that might have to jump on the back of the bad guy talk trash as he's punching him over and over and over again. The idea of an outsider, moving on, and conflict. So in this movie, uh, John McClane's character is not from Los Angeles. He's from New York. And he's trying to convince people of something. This is similar to Jaws, how our main character was not from the island and he was trying to convince the people there of something. It adds conflict. It makes it more difficult for the main character. Something good in this movie. Another good thing. Um, the B story in particular is a fun one. This is a buddy film also. If we're talking about genre or subgenre. Sergeant Al as a friend is a fun part of this story. The motif of Cowboys, Sunsets, Yippie Kaye, Happy Trails, all that stuff. It's something that comes up a good bit. The dialogue, um, it's not repeated dialogue really. It's just a really important point. The idea of saying, I am sorry to the person or people you love when you need to. And then the last thing I was thinking about or pointing out before we get into some of the story structure is the importance of the Rolex watch as a motif. So that's something that is huge to look for. What do we mean by this? Ellis gives Holly, our main character's wife, a Rolex watch as a token of appreciation for her success in the business. At the end of the movie, and this is something to me that is important when we're talking about is this a love story at the core. At the end of the movie, when Hans is grabbing onto our wrist, this is something that we'll get to. There's a very important shot of the Rolex. The Rolex plays a very important part of this scene. So I don't mean to start talking about it and then cut it off, but we'll get to that. So these are some of the interesting things, techniques, some character points, some story points, motifs that stand out to me. And like I said, there's probably a lot of other stuff in here also.